Being an independent business, I think a lot of people, the first thing they think is they're going to be expensive. And that couldn't be further from the truth. So I started Iceman Video Games almost 30 years ago in, uh, in Toronto, actually in Mississauga. Uh, my husband um, was going to quit smoking and he says, I need something to do with my hands. So we went out, we bought a Nintendo system and then he kind of amassed a few Nintendo games uh, and then he thought, you know, there's got to be something to do with these games. Uh, you know, you can't just sit on them. So uh, we started a little flea market booth. It just kind of took off from there. So I've been doing it 30 years. We've been uh, very lucky here in the core of the lakes. The customer base has just been incredibly loyal over the years, you know, and then we've had some move away and come back to visit. I would rather a customer walk away with a $30 game that they're happy with than an $80 game that they're going to question later on and not come back because they're going to feel duped. I'd rather have a repeat customer spending less money but coming back more often. Shop at the independent store. You know, there's, there's a lot of people that just take the local to the, to the max and say, okay, well, I'm shopping at the Loblaws or I'm shopping at the, you know, the, the, the winners. You know, they're local. Those are chain stores. You know, you're not helping out necessarily your neighbor. And, uh, and I think that needs to be more publicized. You know, uh, I'm not an overly religious person, so I don't like to use the word blessed. But, you know, honestly, some days I do feel that way.